It seems more and more women are reporting feeling tired most of the time, and it seems that coffee and energy drinks are becoming a daily essential for many of us. Registered dietitian Angela Wallace is here today with ways we can boost our energy in a more natural way. Welcome. Thanks. So let's talk about staying hydrated. Is drinking lots of water a good place to start? Yes, for sure. I mean, our body is made up of 60 to 70% water. So a lot of the time when we are feeling fatigued, especially in the afternoon, it's because we haven't drank enough water and that will affect our, our energy levels. I know in working with lots of women, I mean, I could see them early afternoon, like one, two o'clock, and they say they haven't even had you know, an ounce of water yet. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I never actually knew that, that not drinking water would affect your energy. Mm-hmm. Big time. Big time. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I tried to drink water, but my issue is just that I'm, I'm, my bladder has never adjusted. So I'm constantly running to the washroom. So it does get in the way. Yeah. That is a challenge for people, especially in certain work environments where they can't necessarily just leave every 20 well, minutes. Well, people look at you like there's something wrong, wrong with you. I mean, you know. Um, what are some other energy boosting tips that you have from a nutrition point of view that are better for us than drinking inordinate amounts of caffeine? Yes. And especially energy drinks. Yes, for sure. Um, so I think caffeine in moderation is okay, but I think we can get energy from a lot of different nutrients from food as well. So some of the important ones would be protein, healthy fats, and fiber. And all of those help stabilize our blood sugars. So that's very key. So if you're getting that big spike in your blood sugar and then it's dropping, that's where you get that fatigued or really tired feeling. So having those stable blood sugar levels is important. Mm -hmm. And and, uh, protein, healthy fats, and fiber help with that. So you can find that in things like legumes or pulses. So this is split peas, but any type of, you know, bean Mm -hmm. would be a good source of of those three things um nuts and seeds so here i have pecans and shredded coconut so the this is giving you healthy fats fiber and there's also magnesium in nuts and seeds so magnesium is a a nutrient that actually helps convert sugar into energy in our body wow so it is very important for feeling energy or getting that energy boost And then your dark leafy greens, they are amazing for everything pretty much. So spinach, kale, uh, bok choy. Broccoli? Broccoli can count, yes. So they, I didn't realize how much vitamin C was in broccoli. Yeah, tons of vitamin C, which is important for energy, and also iron. So mm-hmm. the dark leafy greens are a great source of plant-based iron, which will help with energy, energy production yeah. as well. And especially in women, we tend to have low B, iron. Yes, we do tend to have low iron. And B12. <laughs> and B12. Yes. Um, what about that over there? What's that? Hemp seeds? Yeah, hemp seeds. So um, hemp seeds or any hemp type. Hemp hearts. Yeah. They're pretty yeah. much the same. Like he- there's two names for it, hemp hearts and hemp seeds. But they are a great source of healthy fats. So omega-3s and also a great source of plant-based uh, protein. So I think it's wonderful to add to a smoothie on top of yogurt. Cereal, so you have granola. a smoothie sitting there. What What is in the smoothie? Yes. So this is an energy boosting smoothie, um, green smoothie. So there's about three quarters of a cup of fresh spinach, mm-hmm. three quarters of a cup of frozen mango. Uh, and then there's also two tablespoons of hemp hearts, coconut milk, and about half a teaspoon of turmeric. Is this something just in the winter? Is it because we're not getting enough sun or is it mm-hmm. ju- or is it something for all year round? It's great for all year round, but I find the cold weather and the lack of sun um, and the fact that we want to hibernate more, right? It's cold, we're less active, we're not moving as much. It's important to boost your energy and kind of beat those winter blues. A vitamin D supplement is something I strongly encourage, especially over the winter months, just because it will help with energy and overall health. We just don't get enough. We don't get enough. And and is it okay to let that go in vitamin C in the summer or just to cut it back? 
Um, I know sometimes people like to, you know, take the supplement all year round. I don't necessarily encourage it over the summer because I think we get enough sun exposure. But and we get it, and we also get fruit, fresh fruit. Mm-hmm. More. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And fruit, that is another one. It is a natural sugar, which will give you that natural energy boost as well without creating a major spike. So, Angela, tell everyone where they can uh, connect with you. So my Instagram, I'm always posting recipes. So eat right underscore RD mm-hmm. um, or my website, I blog. So eat right, feel right dot CA. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. This is what she said. We'll be right back on 105.9 The Region. Well, she said- Oh, a power